Hi everyone! So, board exams! Woohoo! Super exciting! Um, before I start, uh, let me give you guys some motivation. I wrote my first two board exams when I was heavily pregnant with my first daughter. And, and I passed with all the pregnancy hormones and so on. And I wrote my second set of board exams when she was just a few months old. So if I can do it, you can do it. It's no big deal. Um, and once it's over and you pass, it's, yeah, it's done and dusted and you don't have to think about these things again afterwards. <laughs> Not really. You do need to think about it. That's kind of the point, right? Okay, so today I'm gonna to be discussing paper three, which is ethics. Absolutely love this area. I'm not saying that to because I'm having a little chat about it right now But genuinely I love 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 this area um, Of law I love lecturing it. So I've lectured this topic at university level as well um, And the reason I love lecturing it and I love talking about ethics is because in my opinion Ethics is the one thing you actually really are going to use in practice I was speaking to a um, newly admitted attorney this morning. We were both in court and uh, obviously I've been in practice and I've been admitted for over 10 years now. Uh, the same little girl that was that I was pregnant with is uh, 11 this year. So. Um, so I was speaking to my colleague and we were discussing board exams and university and he said, you know, nothing prepares you for practice. And I'm going to agree on that. I feel like a lot of it doesn't prepare you for practice, however, and I cannot stress this point enough, ethics is real and you need to know it and you need to know it well. And having said that, when you're studying for ethics paper three, please do not learn it in isolation because ethics doesn't just fall under, you can't, you can't learn it in a, in a bubble. You have to because ethics falls across various aspects and various areas um, of practice and so you need to know how to implement ethics in those various areas so I'm going to get into it obviously I'm not going to be able to go through every single aspect of, uh, of ethics but there's a few that I want to just emphasize on for the purposes of today um, and, and we're going to talk so what is let's just start off what is what is ethics what is this mean? so in order to be an attorney you need to be who's going to answer the question for me who is going to be a you're going to have to prove to the court that you are fit and proper to act as an attorney. So not just any any old buddy off the street um, can actually um, be considered as fit and proper. You need to actually have conduct that shows that you are fit and proper. One of them would mean that you wouldn't have a criminal record. Um, and there's various other, you know, other aspects that we looked at when we talk about a fit and proper person. And why do we need someone who is fit and proper to practice as an attorney? That's because attorneys are required to act in a very ethical manner. So you're supposed to deal with all aspects um, of your professional life in an extremely ethical, good moral, uh, good moral fiber. You're supposed to have, uh, you know, good relationships with your colleagues. You're supposed to have good, open, moral relationships with the courts, um, with your clients. So it really does spread across every single aspect of your professional life. So ethics is something you need to know, not just on paper, not just to pass your, your board exams, but it's something that you need to know in practice. So what does it mean for an attorney to act ethically? All right, so I want to just, I mean, first of all, just to get, just to get us into the whole aspect of ethics, I want to give you guys an example, uh, because this is really what's going to happen in paper three. They're not going to, they may, they may say list, you know, when would you find a conflict of interest, but, but more often than not in paper three, they give you a scenario and they say to you, this is what the client has come to you um, with. What is your ethical obligations here? So let me give you an example. Let's talk about prescription. So let's, for example, say a client approaches you and their debt has prescribed. By now, you know what's prescription. If you don't, you're going to fail. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which probably will. So you need to know what's prescription. This is why I say you need to know all areas of law. So your client says to you, okay, the matter the, gives you the file and the, the matter has actually prescribed. What is your ethical obligations as an attorney to tell your client? All right, so number one, 